एवरी वन आई होप यूर आर सेफ एंड डूइंग गुड सो इफ यू आर अ बी टेक एम टेक और बी सी स्टूडेंट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट यूर कोडिंग जर्नी एंड यू वॉन्ट टू मेक यूर करियर इन दिस आई टी फील्ड टेक फील्ड राइट देन दिस वीडियो इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू हेल्प यू राइट सी वंस यू आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट यूर कोडिंग जर्नी देन देन मेनी क्वेश्चन कम्स इन यूर माइंड लाइक विच प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज बेस्ट फॉर प्लेसमेंट विच प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज इन ट्रेंड राइट नाउ एंड विच इन विच फील्ड यू शुड गो विच फील्ड इज हैविंग मोर एंड मोर जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन फ्यूचर लाइक शुड यू गो फॉर मशीन लर्निंग ए आई वेब डेवलपमेंट एप डेवलपमेंट और यू शुड यू लर्न डी एस ए एंड मैनी थिंग्स आर इन योर माइंड राइट एंड यू आर टोटली कन्फ्यूज सी इफ यू आर दैट स्टूडेंट यू हैव अ क्लियर पाथ लाइक आई वॉन्ट टू गो इन दिस फील्ड इन मशीन लर्निंग यू हैव इंटरेस्ट देन यू चूज दैट वन एंड go for that thing right but 90% of students are still confused their ultimate goal is to get a good placement right to get a good job mainly into those top tech companies right they don't know like which domain they should go they don't have any you know clear path right so this video is for those confused student what should be the road map to get a good job how you should start your coding journey what you should learn the resources from where you should learn right and what you should do to not quit because many students almost 90% students quit after starting their coding because yeah that is tough that is for sure right so what you should do to motivate yourself all these things will be discussing in this video right so first thing is when you are going to start your coding journey definitely first thing is you should pick any one language now here my you know uh, my uh, suggestion for you is do not just waste your time by searching which programming language is best which programming language is in trend which programming language is best for placements right like don't waste so much time on these these things because to be very frank there is no such best language right because there are many domains many sub domains and it's not like that you just learn one language and that's it for you guys in this especially in, in this it field yeah to enter into an industry into this field just pick one good language and that's it but over the period of time to you know uh, get yourself promoted to switch company wise and you know to switch company to company and uh, to get good appraisals to you have to upskill yourself so you have to you will have to learn many languages also right because we know technology is changing rapidly so you can't be just you can't be that you know rigid like i know this language and i will work on that language only i know this framework i'll work in the, in this framework only right if you want to sustain in this industry for long right then you have to upskill yourself so you will learn many languages also over the period of time so there is no such like learn any uh, there, is, there is no such rule like learn one language and that's it for you guys no right yeah but the first language you choose that is important one the first thing is if you are clear like you want uh you want to go in machine learning direction machine learning data science data analyst then go for python language for sure right if you are clear like you want to go in web development right go for javascript you want to go in app development like android specifically in android then go for java for ios app development go for swift language right and there are many more languages also the popular one and the one language which is having more opportunities for you guys that is only i am going to tell you in brief right and if specifically for placement you want to learn any language right there is no particular domain like in which field you want to go you want a good placement you want a good job at last in i know after your final year then go for either c++ or java both are equally good and uh, if you want to go for game development pick c++ that is good right so according to the domain you choose any language but if you are confused general thing you want to uh, you know uh, learn like i just want a good uh, good job i just want to learn any language for placement then go for either c++ or java that is best for you guys because yeah python is also good and the top most language but see for placements and still for placements and for getting good internship you need to learn dsa these things so for that i think c++ or java is good because they are faster than python and the resources on python to learn these dsa and all these are limited one now first thing you have picked any language go for that language devote one month for that language 
right? Learn their basics and start learning small, small programs. Now you are comfortable in that language, you know the basics, right? The syntax of that language, like loops, how to use loops, conditional statements and variables, what are variables, keyword, constant and functions, how to use functions and all these things you know about that language. Now go for DSA. Second step is go for DSA. DSA is still relevant, right? This question is frequently asked whether to go for DSA or web dev. See, we can't say clearly that only DSA, no development. Yeah, only development, no DSA because you have to balance both the things. So then go for DSA. You have to devote three to four months, I guess, for DSA. So now that was our second step. First was to choose any programming language to go for that thing. Second for DSA, you have to prepare for DSA for three to four months and practice problems as well. Then third thing is if you have time, like I'm giving you the complete roadmap, it depends. If you don't have time, like if you are third year or final year, then just prepare for placement and you get a job based on DSA only, right? Suppose you have one or two small projects, that is fine. But if you have time, like your first year student or second year student, then third step is go for web development. Go for development, right? You can build a website or you can go for app development, but better opportunities are for web development, right? In there also we have front end, front end developer, back end developer, full stack developer, right? So go for that thing. First, HTML, CSS that are not programming language that are very simple. You, you can go for that thing also. Then in programming language, go for JavaScript, right? That is one of the most popular language if you are going for web, dev, web development, right? Go for JavaScript. Then you can go for any framework, start developing project. Then go for backend. Two things are there, frontend plus backend, right? For backend, you can go for Node.js. If for frontend you have chosen JavaScript or you can go for Django. If you have worked in on Python language, then go for Django for backend, right? Now, if you are good in both frontend and backend, you can go for full stack developer job also, right? And for specialist also like frontend developer job or backend developer job or full stack developer job, for all these kind of jobs you can apply, right? Start making projects, small project, basic project, then some, so, you know, intermediate type of project, some good projects. Right. Explore that thing also, DSA as well as development, because both these two skills are still relevant when you are sitting in that interview of these only top tech companies, right? Maybe some startup or small companies are just focusing on a particular language or a particular framework or a particular kind of thing. So if you are targeting any small company startup or a particular kind of role, go for that thing only, right? That is fine. But generally, what is important? and which is having more and more opportunities, especially in those top tech companies, fan companies, that is, I'm going to tell you in this video, I'm telling you in this video, the roadmap, right? So you have to balance both the things if you have time, DSA plus development, right? Then now you are in that position that you can get a good job, right? But still, if you have time and you want to explore other things, then you can go for like data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, Right. So at last in brief, I just want to say this thing. If you want to start your coding journey and if you are a fresher and if you are looking for those companies, top tech companies, fang companies in starting only, right, then focus on DSA development. These things, DSA is still important, right? But if you are not so passionate about these companies, fang companies, and you will be fine with any small company or any startup, then just be a specialist. Right? Specialist means just research about that company, that, uh, in which language, on which language that company works, which framework, what type of skills are required for that particular role, any particular role in that company, right? Focus on that particular skills only, right? And just learn these things only. Maybe in that case, DSA is not required. Only development is required and that's it, only JavaScript. Based on that also, you can get into those small companies or based on any particular small language, you can learn and go into that company. No DSA is required, right? And after one to two year in that company, just explore things. And then after you can switch top tech companies or any other company, right? Maybe after four or five years of experience, if you want to go into this, those fan companies as a specialist, then maybe they'll not ask DSA question in interview. But these are rare cases. General thing I'm, I, I, you know, I have told you in this video, right? So that is a case. You can be a specialist also and you can achieve a very good position. You can get into these fan companies as well. You can start your journey, right? And as a generalist also, because DSA development, everyone 
do these kind of things so that are more of general things right do that thing also and you can get directly into those fan companies as a fresher right so i hope the things which i have covered in these things are helpful for you guys if you have any other query regarding placement or internship you can let me know in comment section and now i'll see you in the next video then bye take care